Welcome. Welcome back to the survey of mathematics chapter 3 logic and this is part 3 and just a reminder for you if you need this file feel free to get it from my description box you can just click on the link and get it for free and now let's continue to talk about 3.3 .3. today we'll be focusing on truth tables so what is truth table so truth tables basically just listing down all the possibilities so for example when you look at this negation you understand that if a statement is true when it is negated or it's going through negation it will become false and of course if it is false and it will become true this is what we learn right so just for example if i say p is equal to she is from China okay so if I put the negation P it will become she is not from China okay so now I doesn't know that whether she is from China or not so example no matter what if this is a true statement when it is being negated it is become false and if it is false it will become a true statement so this is just listing down all the possibilities that it has been happened here and the second one conjunction so conjunction you know that it is using the word and okay and negation is using not and just basically okay example p we know that she is from china and example i have a q i say she is studying in Thailand okay now I doesn't know that whether this is true or not or this is true or false or this is true or false so here it says that if it is both of it is true which makes the compound statement to become true so if one is true and one is false P is true Q is false which makes it to become a false compound statement which means that if this is true and this is false when I combine it saying that P and Q saying that she is from China and studying in Thailand so if this is true and this is false the compound statement here the whole thing will automatically become false okay so th this mix this means that compound statement okay and if false for the p and true for the q and this is a false statement too which means that either one of it if it's false then it will become a false statement and the last one if both of them is false and automatically automatically it is a false compound statement for this okay so from conjunction you can know that we must have both true in order to get a true compound statement okay so let's look at the conjunction here i mean this junction here okay this junction here says that if both of it true, which is that both of this statement is true, the compound statement, okay, since now it's changing to or, let me change it, okay. So if this is or, P or Q, and of course here will be changing to become or, and this is becoming or, okay, if both of this statement is true, true, of course this compound statement it will become true however if one is true and one is false it is still true so we can get a difference here for conjunction which using n if either one is false it is false however for this junction which using o even though one is wrong it is still true just like here false true it is still true only that both are false then it will make it false okay 
which means that this compound statement can only be false when both of the statements here are false. Okay? So now let's look at this conditional. Okay? So conditional here says that, okay, let me just write down. If it is conditional, it will become P to Q, and it will become if she is from China, then she is studying in Thailand. Okay, so if this is the case, if your P is true, your Q is true, then the compound statement here, this compound statement will become true. If one is true, the P is true, the Q is false, P to Q is considered as false, which means that the first one, in the, the one in front, she is from China. If this is true, but this is false, this statement will become a false statement, false compound statement. However, if this is the in front is false, if this is false, but the back is true, then it is a true statement, which makes it a little bit confusing here, but you need to remember, okay? If both of it is false, it is still true, okay? Yeah, this is kind of complicated, but that is how it works, okay? And the last one here, by conditional. So if both of it is true, it is true. If both of it is false, it is false. However, if one of it is false, then it will be false. Yeah, it's kind of similar with the situation. It's kind of similar with the situation of the conditional. However, it doesn't accept that when P is false and Q is true. So it, it makes it become false. Okay, so, so let's try to try to let me highlight those who those that you need to specially remember, okay? Let me highlight it here. Okay. What you need to remember, specially remember is that for conjunction, okay, for negation, for sure you know that when true will become false, false will become true. However, for conjunction, you need to remember that only both true can make it true. Then disjunction, only both false can make it false. And conditional, you need to remember, only true false will make it false. And for biconditional, only both true true can make it true, and false false can make it false. Okay? So just get this in your mind, and don't worry, although it has paralyzed you and me, but it's okay, let's try and look at the questions and try to figure it out. So remember, truth table means that you need to list out all the possibilities that will happen for that statement, okay? So actually, I've tried to divide this truth table subtopics into three parts okay the first part here is, is listed here saying that two unknown truth table okay this is the first part and the second part is about three unknown truth table and the last one is about getting the truth value with a specific specific case okay so don't worry let's go through it together okay so so you can look at here, the first question is here, it, it is an example saying that construct a truth table for negation P and Q, okay? So first steps, it here tells you that first steps, you need to write down the list. For your information, for two unknown, two unknown truth table, you always will write down this one. Okay, these are the possibilities that will happen. True, 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 false, false, true, false, false. So these are the four situations that will happen for a two statement. Just for example here, these are the two statements here, right? 
P and Q. So, whether it is true or false, it has four possibilities, which is, it can be either both of it is true, one of it, one is true, one is false, one is false, one is true, or both of it are false. Okay? So, here teach you. First, you need to write down the list. So, you can see, all two unknown truth tables are here. Okay? And the second step here says that follow from left to right. So what's mean left to right? That's mean that we are when we are doing the symbolic form here, always from left to the right. Okay. However, here mentions that from left to right, but we do inside the bracket first. Okay. And it always suggests that you must follow the sequence because it is easier for the teacher to correct the answer, the paper, okay? So let's look at the questions here, the first questions here. Here says that negation P and Q. So when we look at these questions, we are given P, we are given Q. So the next step is for, of course, we need to do the inside the bracket first, or we should, should say parenthesis in specific. So P and Q. So once we've done the P and Q, we will find the negation. So you can see, first I find the P and Q. So remember N, only both of it is true, then it will be true. So true, true, T and T, true and true, it will become true. True and false, it will become false. False and true, it will become false. False and false will become false. Okay? And we get that this is true, false, false, false. And the next one, I want to find a negation of this one. So negation of this one, basically it means that I will change to the opposite, opposite one. Okay? So true will become false, false will become true, false will become true, false will become true. And when you're done with this one, that is the answer, okay? So it's kind of easy, right? Okay? So let's try with the second questions. Don't worry, okay? Construct a truth table. This is a truth table for negation P or negation Q. So remember, we'll go from left to right. So we need to know P and Q. And we got the P and Q. And the first thing we need to know is what is another negation P? Because we need to find negation P or negation Q. So we need to find negation P, negation Q, then we find negation P or negation Q. Okay? We cannot straight away find P, uh, negation, uh, negation, no, P or Q, then negation. No, no, no. It's a different thing right here. Okay? We need to go step by step. So, what is negation P? So, when it says only P, means that we look only P, okay? So, P, if it's true, negation P will become false. If it is true, it will become false. When it is false, it will become true. When it is false, it will become true, okay? And the next one, what is negation Q? So, negation Q, we only look at Q. Negation Q, Q. So, true become false, false become true, true become false, and false it will become true, okay? And here says negation P, negation Q. Here says or. Or. If or means that only both of it wrong, both of it false, can make it false. So, both of it false, it will make it false. If the others that doesn't both of it false, it will become false true. So the answer becomes false, true, true, true. That's all. Okay? So I hope you kind of get the idea of how to draw a construct a truth table. Okay? Truth table always we will use this list P, Q, true, 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 false, false, true, false, false. These are the four possibilities that can happen for the two statements. Okay? So let's try the third one. Construct a truth table for negation P or Q with parentheses and negation Q. 
So don't worry about this one. So we basically you can get the idea that first we need to know what is P, next we need to know what is Q, then see left to the right. I first need to know about what is the negation P. I need to know what is the negation P. Then negation P or Q. Then negation P or Q. You can put the parenthesis or with the parenthesis is the same thing. Then I need to know what is the negation Q. What is the negation Q? Then I need to find what is this and negation Q. I need to find negation P or Q, then and negation Q. So that, that's the idea basically, from left to the right. But we do the parenthesis first. So from this idea, you can get it at PQ, we have it here. Then the next one is negation P. Then the next one I need to find is negation P or Q. Okay, with a parenthesis and with parenthesis for this case is the same. Next, negation Q. And here will be negation P or Q and negation Q. Okay, so let's try and look at it. P. It tells us that it is true, true, false, false. Negation P will become false, false, true, true. And here, negation P or Q. Look at here. Negation P, this is negation P. This is Q. So negation P, Q. If it is using or here, means that only both of its false can make it false. So false, true. It is true. False, false. It is false. True, true. It is true. True, false. It is true. Remember, when you when we look at these these types, negation P or Q, we must look at these first. Then we look at this one. Okay. False, true makes it true. False, false makes it false. True, true makes it true. True, false makes it true. Okay, you might think that, ah, is it the same thing, Q, then negation P? Why why we need to be always negation P first, then Q? Isn't it the same? Yes, it, it, is, it is the same thing for the case of all. But it is not the same thing for conditional, okay? So, you can try to be always consistent following the sequence here, okay? Or else you, make some, you might make a mistake here. Okay, so let's look at the next one, negation Q. So negation Q is only looking at this one. So TF, TF is you mix it become FT, FT. It's kind of easy. Just try to break down everything and you try to combine it. And the next one, negation P or Q, which is this one here called N, N negation Q. So now you need to combine this both to become a, a answer here. So remember, it is using and here. So and means that only both of it is true. Both of it are true can make it true, or else it is all false. So true false, it is false. False true, it is false. True false, it is false. Only true true can make it true. And that is the answer. And here we are done here. It's kind of easy, right? Okay, and let's try the next questions here. So, construct a truth table for P and negation Q or negation P. Okay, feel free to pause, your, pause the video and try to try the questions and we can check it together. Okay, so of course, we need to start with P. Q, okay, and draw a line, and we draw a line here too. So of course we need to remember always what is the two list here. It is true, 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 false, false, true, and also false and false. Now, when we look at here, we need to first identify what are the things that we need to find here. Okay, left to the right. Okay, so P. Do we have P? Yes. Do can we do P and negation Q? No, no, no. Why? Because we doesn't have negation Q. So we first need to have negation Q here. Then, again, from the 
beginning. P and negation Q. Can we do P and negation Q? Yes, because we have P and we have negation Q here. So P and negation Q. Next, P and negation Q. Are we done? Yes. Can we directly add uh, all negation P? No. Why? Because we doesn't have negation P. So we need to prepare negation P here. And last steps. Can we do P and negation Q or negation P now? The answer is yes. Why? Because we have this thing here and we have negation P here. So and now we can combine P and negation Q or negation P. Okay, you can get the idea. From left to the right, then we can do it. Okay, so now we need to start with negation Q. So Q is T, F, T, F. So negation Q, it will be F, T, F, T. Why? Because true become false, false become true. And the next one, P and negation Q. So P is this one, P and negation Q. And then now the connectives here is N. So remember, N is what? N is only both true, it can make it true, or else all are false. So true, false, it makes it false. True, true, it makes it true. False, false, it makes it false. False, true, it makes it false. Okay? And let's look at the next one. Negation P. So negation P, we only look at P. So P means that true, true, false, false. So in the negation, it will become false, false, true, true. Okay? And now let's look at this one. The last one, P and negation Q or negation P. So we have this here and we have this here. So now the connectives here is uh, or. So or means that as only both of it false can make it false or else all are true. So false false makes it false and true false makes it true. False true makes it true. False true makes it true. And the answer here is uh, false true true true. And that's it. Okay. I think it is kind of easy. But let's try to continue. The fifth one. Construct a truth table for P or negation P. Now, look at here. How many um, variables here? How many unknown here? It is only one. Okay, so this is kind of a special question that shouldn't be here, but I try to include it to make you understand this one. Okay, so if it is only one p, which means that it is only have one possible. This means one statement. As I say, she is from China. So the possibilities of this statement can be either only true or false. So it will be only true. Or false. Okay? So let's try to look at this one. P or negation P. So can we directly P or negation P and write it here? The answer is no. Why? Because we doesn't have negation P. So we will write here negation P. So P negation P it will become what? It will become true become false and false become true. So P or negation P. P or negation P. So or means what? Or means only both false can make it false. So in this case of true false, if you make it true. And false true, if you mix it true. And that is the answer. Okay, I think it's kind of easy, but don't confuse, okay? And the next question is here. Construct a truth table for negation P, negation parenthesis P, and negation Q. Okay, so let's try to write down. Since we have P and Q, we will write down P, Q. So what is P, Q? The possibilities here are true, 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 false, false, true, and false, false. Okay, I hope you get it. And now we need to find. Can we directly find negation P and negation Q? 
No, because we doesn't even know what's inside. So can we directly find P and negation Q? No, why? Because we doesn't have negation Q. So we need to have negation Q first. Okay, and once we have negation Q, then we can combine P and negation Q. We can combine P and negation Q. And once we have P and negation Q, then now we can get the whole thing. Negation of P and negation Q. Okay? Let's try. So Q is given true, false, true, false. Negation Q it will be false, true, false, true. And here it says P and negation Q. And see, this is the P and this is the negation Q. So here it says N. N means that only both true can make it true. Okay, only both true can make it true. So true, false, it is false. True, true, it is true. False, false, it is false. False, true, it is false. Okay, and the last one, negation of this one. Okay, and now if negation means that false will become true, true will become false, false will become true, and false will become true. That's all. Okay? I think it's kind of easy, and let's try to do the next one. Again, construct a truth table for negation Q, negation P. Remember, we have PQ here, right? So for sure, we need to write this one. P and Q. True, 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 false, false, true, and false, false. And now, negation Q, to negation P. Can we straight away write this whole thing here? No, because we doesn't even have the negation Q. So negation Q. And can we directly negation Q to negation P? No, because we doesn't have negation P. So we write negation P. And now next, we have negation Q and we have negation P. So we can write negation Q to negation P. Okay? So, Negation Q. So what is negation Q? T F T F it will become F T F T. And here's a negation P it will become true true false false it will become false false true true. And now it says that negation Q conditional I mean to negation P. So remember when it comes to conditional okay it means that only true false I mean the one in front is true the back is false only true two false can make it false and the others are true okay so false false will makes it true true false will makes it false false true will makes it true and true true will makes it true okay it's kind of okay right okay don't be Amazed by this, this is what we learned just now, okay? Try to look back here. This is the notes that we studied just now. Only true false can make it false, and the others are all true, okay? So basically, you just need to remember the highlight one, okay? Then it will be fine. And the next one, construct a truth table for P or Q, then conditional to negation Q. So again, the same thing, we we'll draw a truth table, can here say P and Q, so P, Q. So true, 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 false, false, true, and false, false. And we start with this one, from the left to the right, okay? So P or Q, so we start with P or Q. So can we straight away P or Q to negation Q? No, because we doesn't have negation Q. So we need to have a negation Q here. Then at the end, we can do P or Q to negation Q. Okay. So P or Q, remember, all means as long as it doesn't have both of it false, it is true. So true, true, it is true. True, false, it is true. False, true, it is true. And false, false, it is false. This is the special of all. And the next one, negation Q. 
So negation Q means you need to op tr do the opposite. So true, false, true, false. Here it gives you false, true, false, true. Okay. And the next one, P or Q. This is P or Q to negation Q. So remember, if it is conditional, it means that if the first one is true and then the two and second one is false, then it will get you false. And the others all will become true. So it means that true false, you mix it false. True false, you mix it false. For the others, you mix it true and true. And the answer is false true, false true. That's it. Okay? That's it. And let's try our last questions for this page. Here it says that construct a truth table for P or Q and negation P, then the holding negation uh, conditional Q to Q. So of course here P Q P Q, but it only has P and Q. So we need to write the truth table here. The listing true false true uh, true 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 false false true and false false. And first one, what should we write first? P or Q from the left to the right. P or Q. So we have P or Q. And the next one. P or Q and negation P. Can we do that? No, because we doesn't have negation P. So we put negation P. Then again, P or Q and negation P. P or Q and negation P. Yes, we can do that. And can we straight away to Q? Yes, because we have Q already right here. So we can trade away P or Q and negation P to Q. Okay, so it actually is simple. We have built up the steps. We just need to put the sign now. True for sign. So P or Q again. Or means on the both of it false can mix it false. Okay, so true true become true. True false become true. False true becomes true. False false becomes false. And here says negation P, which means I need to change all sign here. True true means false false. False false means true true. And the next one. There's an N in between both of these. This um, symbolic form. Okay. And N means that only both true can mix it true. This is only both true can mix it true. And the others will be false. Okay. And the last one, this and 2q, q, okay? Remember, q is this one. Okay, let me highlight it. q is this one. And this one, 2q, okay? So remember, when you look at this one, we need to look from here, then we go to q, okay? So here it says, remember, conditional means that the first one should be true. When the first one is true and the second one is false, it will make it false or else it will make it true. So look at here, false, true, which makes me true. False, false, you mix it true. True, true, you mix it true. And false, false, you mix it true. We doesn't have one that is true and this one is false from here. So it means that everything here we become, we become what? We become true. Okay, so if there's a situation happens that all of this is true, which means that, example, I have a P here, I have a Q here. If I make this, make I, if I make this the statements become this one, like P or Q and negation P to Q. Okay, if I have a statement here, I have a statement here. If I mix it into a word statement inside this symbolic form, which means that it will always be true. No matter that both of the P, Q are true, it will still become true. Okay? You see, you see here, if it is both of it is true, it still become true. If true, false, it will become true. False, true, it still is true. And if both of it is false, it is still true. Okay? So it's kind of an interesting statement, interesting symbolic form here. Okay? So basically some memes here. I pull his hair and kick him. Why doesn't he get that I like him? There is a 
uh, woman's logic or female's logic, yeah, just for fun, okay? And one does not simply understand woman's logic, okay? <laughs> However, mathematical logic is easier than woman's logic, so just don't worry, okay? Just for fun, okay? Please don't be angry, okay? And now we enter to the second part here, which is three unknown truth table notes. Okay, just now we discussed about the two unknown truth table. And now we are discussing the three unknown truth table. Don't be worried about it because it's exactly the same idea on how to do it, but just that it is a bit longer here. Okay, just now we only have P and Q, so we only have true true. I mean, yeah, we just now we only have true true, true false, false true, and false false. However, now we are entering three unknowns here. Okay, so it's kind of longer, but it's easier to remember. Okay, if you notice just now, it, it works like this. You see, true, true, false, false, true, false, true, false. Basically, basically you can see here, just two, true here, two, false here, one, 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 one. Okay, in the situation of three, it is still remember easy to remember. You see, it have three rows. It is true, 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 false, 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 true, true, false, false, true, true, false, false, and true, false, true, false, true, false, true, false. So basically, the idea is four, two, one. What's mean by four, two, one? Okay, let me just write it down for you. Okay, let me just use these questions. Okay, so you see P Q R. So you can just draw a line. Now, P, Q, R. Remember, 4, 2, 1, which means that, which means that, here, T, 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 T. That's 4 T here. And another 4 uh, F. 4, 4, 4, I mean, F, 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 F. Then there's 4. And here, 2, 2. 2 here means that, 2 T. 2f, 2t, 2f. And here see 1 means that 1t, 1f, 1t, 1f, 1t, 1f, 1t, 1f. And this is r. So it's kind of easy to remember, right? Okay? Remember 4, 2, 1. Okay? 4, 2, and 1. And of course, how, how we do it is exactly the same way of doing it. Okay? So let's look at it how we tackle this question now here question says p or q remember we can write it p or q straight away here p or q and you might ask hey, is it the same thing again like what we do it just now like all means that means that only both force can mix it force yes it's exactly the same thing okay and the next one here will be p or q and r and we are done, okay? Look at here, P or Q. P or Q means that only both force can mix it force. See, look at here. When it's P and Q, you only focus on P and Q. So true, true, there is mix it. True, 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 true. True force, true. True force, true force, yes. It's true, force, true, true. Force, true, true. Force, force. Force, 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 force. Because only both force can make a all, all compound statement force. And the next one, P or Q and R. Remember, now we are looking at this one, and R. And R means only both true can make it true, or else others are false. So look at here. True, true makes it true. True, false makes it false. True, true makes it true. True, false makes it false. True, true makes it true. True, false makes it false. False, true makes it false. False, false makes it false. Again, if you confuse that why I start reading from this one to this one, it's because now the sequence is this to this. Okay, this and to this. Okay, and we are done. It's kind of easier, exactly the same idea of what we are doing just now just that it is a bit longer here 
And the next one here, construct a truth table for negation P to the parentheses of Q and R. Okay, again, what we are doing here, now we have PQR, so we will draw here P, Q, and R. So again, 4, 2, 1, the concept of 4, 2, 1, so true, 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 false, 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 and false. And true, true, false, false, true, true, false, false, because 4, 2, right, and this is 2, and 1. True, false, true, false, true, false, true, false. Okay. And now we need to write the symbolic form here. So start from the left to the right. So we start from negation P. So negation P. And can we straight away do the Q or R? Yes, we need to do Q or R because we have Q and R here, right? And we cannot write the whole thing first because we doesn't have Q and, Q and R. And the next one, negation P2, negation P2, Q and R. And we are done. So let's try it here. Negation P means that I will put everything in opposite. So now we know that there are four true, four false. So we'll put here four false and four true. And here it says Q and R. This is Q, this is R. So remember Q and R means that I need to have put of it true to mix it true. So true true makes it true, true false makes it false, false true makes it false. False, false makes it false, true, true makes it true, true, false makes it false, false, true makes it false, and false, false makes it false. Okay? Remember, and means that only both true makes it true. And the last one, negation P to the parentheses of Q and R. Okay, so now we are focusing on these two now, this and this this and this okay so now it is with the con with the sim uh, with the symbol of condition here now so condition means the front part is true and the second one is false will make it become false or else the others are all true so true false make it false okay so false true true false false true false false true false false true 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 True, true, false, false, true, false, false, true, false, false. And that's it. That is the answer for this truth table. Okay? And that's it for the, the three unknown truth table. And we are going for the last part now. Just a meme again. Oh, you don't understand? Let me explain it again the exact same way. And that's the teacher's logic here. Teacher does not accept late papers, but takes five weeks to grade them. Yeah, that is teacher's logic. Just for a joke, okay? And the last part, and the very simple part here. The first two parts, we're saying that we need to create a truth table to determine whether it is, to determine the, all the possibilities of the compound statements. But now, once you know that, what is your P, what is your Q, whether your statement, which one is true, which one is false, then actually you just need to do one. Yeah, just for example, again, she is from China, okay? China and Q. She is studying in Thailand, okay? Just a shortcut. So, if we doesn't know that whether this is true or false or whether this is true or false, so when we make a compound, I mean the symbolic form, the symbolic form we will make a truth table again to to see all the possibilities however if we know that okay p is true for sure q are false for sure then we no need to do all the truth table okay we can just directly substitute the truth table into the symbolic form here and now we'll be showing you how to do it okay of course if the question says that Determine truth value, okay? Determine the truth value. Doesn't say that 
uh, of course it will give you that p is false q is true r is false give you the values but if the question says that you need to create a truth table yes you need to create a truth table but if the question doesn't say that you need to create a truth table but it just says that determine the truth values for for maybe for this symbolic form then you can do as what i will doing i will be doing now okay so here says that p or q with the parenthesis to r so here the the questions give us that p is false q is true and r is false so we will directly substitute this into the symbolic form says that p is false and q r is true then condition to r r is false and now it is easy right false and true false and true becomes what remember and only and only and says that only both true can mix it true so false and true here of course we mix it false and this one this whole thing here we become false and left over to f so f to f remember conditional only true to false can mix it false or else all the others are true so false to false we mix it true and that's it okay that's for the first question it's kind of easy again right so let's look at the second questions here to practice negation p p is false and q q is true or or negation r r is false so let's look at this one false and true so false and true become what false and true here we become false right because and only both of it true to make it true and don't forget the negation here once you've done this one it comes down here become false but your negation is still here or okay so here or negation f okay so now you might think hum how, how about negation f what is negation f here it, it seems like we doesn't learn that right however just easy negation f you need to change the f so negation f for sure is true the negation of f is true and here is all so all and negation f is true okay and negation so true or true true or true for sure it is true okay only both of the i both of the symbol is f can make it become f and we are done for the questions again let's look at the next one okay let me change the blue color negation p so what is your p your p in the questions here is false so negation false and q q is true or or negation r r is false so again negation false which means that it is true and means and okay t t or or negation of f is true so now basically everything is true now okay so we will do inside the bracket first i mean inside the parenthesis first so true or true means true and three and three means three uh, i mean t <laughs> become three now t and t means t that's all again you are done so it's much easier than truth table because we are given the exact p q r is what but truth table listing down all the possibilities that will happen okay and it's the same answer if you go and search for the truth table okay and we have the last questions here yeah is this is kind of tricky now negation of a bracket parenthesis negation of p so our p here is false two r r also false then by conditional p which is f 
all and Q is true. And we are there. So the first step, change everything that can change first. I mean the negation. So negation, bracket. You see here, negation F is means that true. Then 2F by conditional. And here, F or T. False or true. So remember, or only both of it is false. Both of it are false can make it become false. Or else it is all true. And of course, you know that true to false. True, true to false is false. Okay? Only true to false is false. The others are true. So false to true. So now false by conditional true now. So remember, for by conditional, only both of the items here are the same can make it become true or else all are false. So this whole thing you mix it false. So it will be negation still be here and false. And negation of false is equal to true. And that's it. Okay. We are done for the third part. So basically what we have learned is about truth table and truth value. Okay, this is what we call as truth value. And we are done with the three parts. The first part is having true unknown truth table, which means two statement. And the second one we done with the three unknown truth table, which is the three statements. And now we are done with the truth values for specific cases, which they give us that P is equal to true or false, Q is equal to true or false, and R is equal to true or false, and we can directly get the answer without construct a truth table. Okay? And we are done with 3.3. So thank you so much. You take a good rest, and we shall continue 3.4 on the next video. Thank you so much, and all the best. Good luck.